Hi everybody, it's Susie Libertor, owner and art director of Visions to Images. Um, I'm going to be doing Marketing Monday every Monday now, probably at around 3.30, 3.45-ish, so make sure you have your notifications set, um, and it's going to be corresponding with the different blog posts that we have each week. Um, I'm a little behind, so I wanted to start off with SEO. Um, it's, a, it's a huge topic for so many business owners. It doesn't matter if you're online or you have an in-person um, location. You have to have SEO regardless. You just have to. Um, what does SEO even mean? It's search engine optimization. So it's how people find you. So you know when you go into Google and you're looking for Nike shoes, who has them besides Nike? That's kind of essentially what it is, is you're searching on the internet for these people based on keywords. Um, so let's chat. Um, it'll help. These search terms rank are called keywords. So you have to make sure you're targeting the right keywords and based on what your audience is looking for. Um, you want to use these words to increase the visibility of a website so that you can actually convert to people who, want, who are going to give you the sales, essentially. If you're not converting, then it's obviously not working. Um, you need to have a plan in place to promote your business, especially SEO. SEO should be a huge factor. You should be uh, always monitoring it, ongoing with it, keeping up with it, changing your keywords, looking at where they're coming from, and all the back end of stuff. A lot of times people don't even know about this. And if you go into Google Analytics, you can see a bunch of data as well. So you can kind of incorporate your SEO with Google Analytics. There's a whole other field in a ball, ball, um, ballpark for SEO. Um, Blogging is one of the most important things for SEO, but beyond blogging, there's social media that you can use for SEO. Like all of your social media content is part of your SEO and it's driving traffic to your website, right? So blogging is another avenue. So you have to make sure that your content is king at this point. We've all heard that content is king. It's because it's feeding to your website. It's because it's feeding to your keywords and it's an ongoing process and it kind of filter, like it's, it's, a, it's a pattern and it kind of goes together with each other and it flows. Um, so your social media always has um, SEO and content, content keys. Um, you know, when you use hashtags, those are kind of essentially keywords and SEO as well, in a sense, but from a different perspective. So you always want to make sure that your audience knows what you're reaching and how you're reaching it, because if they're searching and they're not finding what they're looking for, then it's not working. Um, before you optimize your website, you need to know what you're optimizing it for. This simply means finding out what people are searching for. And even if you don't know what they're searching for and you're brand new with your website, you can always ask people, ask your colleagues, ask, ask your friends, say, hey, I'm launching a product. What would you be searching for? And you can use these keywords everywhere besides your website. You can use them on your social media, your blogging, your Etsy shop, um, everywhere. And it'll really help with your SEO and converting people to your um, sales. Um, once you have the keywords and they're working, you're able to kind of see what's working and you're knowing and you gotta keep making sure that you don't have to update those keywords because it is an ongoing process. Um, content is critical to every, every business, it's critical. Your content has to be awesome in order to stand out from your competitor or who, you, who you're competing with. It's, it helps you to get your ranks with your audience. It helps you to get all these things to get your business growing and to get, it, get people excited for. So you always wanna make sure your content is king. You always wanna have like a writer or an editor or whomever, like an online business manager sometimes. Make sure that it's reaching your audience and to make sure that it's doing it well. Um, it's a, SEO is like a great way for organic traffic in a sense because people are searching and you, and you don't have to do anything. They're using their search terms. I mean, the back end of the website, you obviously have to do stuff, but it's organic in a sense that people can just search in Google, search in social media, search wherever. And that's why keywords are just so critical. Um, on Pinterest, you want to make sure like your um, name has keywords in it. Mine's visions to, image, visions to images. Um, branding and marketing. So if people are searching branding, it'll come up. If people are searching marketing, it'll come up. All of that is a factor in everything that you do for your SEO and your keywords. And you have to, and, and if you don't even understand what I'm saying, that's why you have to have people on a team to help you and to guide you to get to the conclusion and get to where you want to be. Um, 
Uh, I'm done for now. I left you guys some information in the comments below. If you also want to leave comments or ask me any questions or concerns, I would be happy to always answer them for you. Every Monday, 3.30, 3.45-ish, we're going to be doing Marketing Monday. So make sure you join us and you tune in each week. It's going to be a different topic. If you want to hear a specific topic, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Have a good holiday, guys. We'll chat soon.